Welcome back to Fox 45 Morning News. Now, when it comes to the holiday season, most of us are used to harried, hustled, bustled. But author John Snyder says maybe you should just slow down a little and hear a few Christmas stories, just like the ones his grandmother told him when he was a child. And John joins me now to talk about his new book called The Golden Ring. And this book is about stories your grandmother told you when you were um, a little kid and in western maryland is that correct right up in cumberland and actually when when i was a little kid it was just a few years ago i uh was sitting at her uh breakfast table one morning and we were talking about it was right after christmas we were talking about her early life and uh i happened to ask her a specific question and that that was what was your most precious christmas memory and she told me this story which captured my imagination and my heart and, and uh, led to me writing this book. Give me a little synopsis of the story. Well, the story actually takes place back in 1918 in the small town of Myersdale, Pennsylvania, where she, uh, where she was raised. And it deals with her family. She has uh, three brothers and two sisters and her mom and dad. Her dad is a uh, B&O railroad engineer, and she shares a particularly close relationship with him. And a few days before the Christmas of 1918, her and her father begin sharing these similar dreams about the giving and receiving of a ring. It sort of leads them onto a journey uh, to find the meaning of these dreams and, and, and really causes them to have a real uh, close Christmas relationship when they find out what the meaning of these dreams were. And it really lived within my grandmother's heart for 80 some years. She never told a soul about this until the day I asked her and I'm really glad I asked. Now, of course, you know, you like these, this story uh -huh. because they were told by your grandmother, but do you think any Anyone would like the story? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, I, I get uh, emails and letters from literally all over the world. I've had uh, emails as far away as Switzerland and India from people who have, have purchased my book here in the United States and, and have read it. And uh, the appeal, the, the letters I get, I get them from men, women, grandmothers, uh, young people, uh, kids. Uh, you know, so it has a, a, a real universal appeal because it's just a real heartwarming story. And I feel if you have a heart and, and, you, and you like the Christmas holiday and old stories, uh, you'll love this. And that's been the reaction I've been receiving. The unfortunate thing about it is that after this book uh, came to fruition, she never really had a chance to see it, did she? Uh, well, she got to see the book. In fact, uh, I originally self-published a few years ago. And, and, and just the day, actually the day I gave her the book, uh, they did a newspaper paper story in her hometown in Cumberland and the last photograph taken of her was by a newspaper photographer uh, she passed away days after I gave her the finished copy and of course she was um, she was up on what was going on the whole time because she was my technical advisor on life in 1918 because <laughs> I was always calling her on the phone and say well grandma what uh, what was it like then and did you have lights and electricity and you know and guiding me through the logistics of the story so she was well up on the story the whole way through what was grandma's name how old was she when she passed uh, her name was Anna Snyder and she passed away right uh, she was about 90 and a half she would have been 91 in in April she passed away in November was a beautiful woman, lit up the room when she walked in. I mean, just always had a smile on her face, always had a, a very positive attitude about life and, and was a wonderful woman. Well, these days it's certainly a blessing that uh, you have an opportunity to not only know your grandmother, but to spend some time with her. Yeah, and I think we need to ask, uh, something I say in my book, I encourage people to talk to the uh, elders in their families and get these stories because when these people pass on, they take these stories with them and, and you know, they went through a lot in life. A lot, their life was a lot more difficult in many ways than ours and mm -hmm. I think it built uh, some strong character and there's some really, really fascinating stories there. Well, John Snyder, thank you for sharing uh, the book and the uh, memories of your grandmother with, with us and uh, good luck on the sales. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. And you can also find these um, books at any bookstore around town and you can also find out more about John and his grandmother on johnsnyder.net. Stay with us. We check in with our Leg Mason financial expert a little bit later. But first, we have some greetings from those who can't be home for the holidays.